Zero Waste family again, and I'm Frederica, obviously, and today I have Liam with me. And do you want to talk about what we have picked here? So these are some berries that we can make jam out of. And these are called Ar Aronia berries. I don't know if that's how you pronounce them in English, but that's how you pronounce them in Swedish. And they look like blueberries, but they grow on a big bush in the middle of the city, which is the coolest, so right outside our house. And these are loaded with antioxidants. And I have to admit that for years I knew about them, but I never knew what they look like or where they grew. And I was a little scared of picking any berries. But what did, when we were walking to the beach the other day to take our morning swim, what happened? We ran into someone. Mm -hmm. and they were picking. Who was picking them? And I said, excuse me, what are those berries? And she confirmed that there was aronia berries and that um, they are absolutely not poisonous and they're really good for you. The skin is like very bitter, but the juice inside of it, you have to like squeeze it. So it's like... Yeah. And you can see just like blueberries, you get like really purple on your fingers, which is actually the proof that they have all these antioxidants. So what we're gonna do is like, we're actually gonna take a few of them and make it die. Mm -hmm. But we also are gonna make a jam from them because once you um, you cook them and add some sugar to them and a little bit of lemon, then they're not gonna be so bitter anymore. Mm -hmm. So you can add them to um, your uh, to our oatmeal in the morning mm -hmm. or something like that. What else did we pick? Um, we these. picked um, acorns for yeah. acorn caps. So these are the little acorn caps and we are gonna actually felt a little bit of acorns and glue them in here and put a little string and actually have them as decoration. That's going to be a fun arts and craft and we're going to do this, I'm hoping, in your class. So anyway, picked a lot of them because they're falling off now. And then all of these, we have some rose hips. We have a lot of different leaves in different colors. Like this is a zero waste way of making kind of like watercolors for the kids to paint with and we're going to show how to do that too. But in this video, we're going to show how to make the aronia berry, the jam, and in the next video, we're going to show how to make dye ink. I don't know what you call them. I think ink. Yeah. For more arts and craft recipes, make sure to check out our book. Let's go make the jam, shall we? that's going to be for the dye in here, put the berries in here and the acorn caps in there. This is what we use to make rose hip soup from. Those are like potatoes. I thought those were like tomatoes or something. No, I know. You probably don't remember them from I believe you love rose hip soup. I don't know what rose hips Yeah, shake it off a little bit. Oh, Whoa, okay. <laughs> that is a lot okay. of sugar. Okay, so unscrew it, the top, and we're gonna put it in here in the oven to disinfect. There we go. All right, let's close it. So we're just gonna wait for the jam to thicken and for the jar to be warm, and then we have jam. Yeah. Good job. Slava, are you excited about the jam? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, it's boiling. So what we're looking for is the um, jam to thicken. Yeah. And you can tell, like, obviously it's not thick enough. It's gonna be a little bit syrupy, 20 minutes or so. And I don't see Depending it on how much, boiling. you know, jam you're making. We're not making a huge amount because we left the large berries for the birds and for other people. Because we don't want to take yeah. everything, right? We want to share. Mm -hmm. Oh, look how nice and thick it is. Hot? Wait. Yeah, so I would say that be careful when you let kids taste because sugar that will get rid of I mean, and considering that the bitter, how they are, but with sugar and lemon and water and cooking. Wait, you added it, lemon? I think you need a little bit more lemon. You want some more lemon? Yeah, okay. Like a drop. Okay. So the reason for adding lemon is not only does it brighten the jam, but it also brings out the natural pectines and also protects it when you um, can it. 
Okay, it's time to pour the lemon. Oh, oh. Oh, that looks so good. Putting on the lid right away. So you pour the hot warm jam into a, jo a hot or warm uh, can because otherwise it will explode. Uh, and also this one means that this is, um, when you screw the lid on tight from the beginning, uh, it can. Now, of course, I'm gonna clean up this mess. Yes. I made a mess. I made a huge mess. Yeah. It's hard to film and pour at the same time. If you like this video, remember to share, subscribe, and like. Bye.